this, what you see here in the front and on the picture, is our vehicle, the Boxer. It's produced by Artec and we are a joint venture company of the renowned brands Rheinmetall and Crossmaffer Wigman. The Boxer vehicle we display here is more or less the result of the common development where also the UK was part. Uh, UK was part in the program from 2000 up to 2004. And that's also the reason why a lot of UK requirements are still in the vehicle and has to be qualified against. And now as the UK intends to procure a new 8x8, we see uh, the next opportunity for Boxer uh, to win this competition. And as the Boxer has been developed also by the British, according to the British requirements, and we have the unique modularity, uh, it is easy to also introduce the specific new requirements and versions into the existing fleet, joining the other nations uh, having a big program. In terms of the CV90 as a product as such, we're actually launching today, in, a, in, a, in an hour, uh, the latest generation of the CV90 called the CV90 Mark IV which has an upgraded drivetrain, it has a, the fourth generation electronic architecture and it also encompasses a, a new uh, series of turrets, uh, the D series of turrets, which is a more modular built uh, turret. It has the same self-substance that we've always had, but it, uh, it has a more modular approach. The fourth generation electronic architecture, for instance, gives us a capability of computation capability in, in, in teraflops. That's trillion uh, uh, floating operations per second, meaning we can shoe uh, real-time data in, in a totally new uh, extent that we can do we couldn't even imagine three years ago. So with that, we, we, we come with uh, artificial intelligence algorithms, machine learning algorithms. It's a lot more effective to do uh, uh, to showcase live stream video and live stream data uh, uh, without lag and having uh, that superimposed with uh, uh, augmented reality and, and 3D map data and BMS information at the same time. So it's a more effective, more growth. But it's not much to show because you will not see any difference on the outside of the vehicle. We are, we are currently in, a, in, a, in the competition for the Czech Army and we are waiting the, the final the, the requirements that uh, uh, coming out here in a, in a, in a month or two. And the competition will go on, uh, so officially they, they state that uh, the contract will be signed during this year. from uh, Microflow Navisa from Netherlands. Uh, what we make is the acoustic multi-mission sensor. This is a sensor uh, capable to detect and localize multiple threats on multiple platforms. One of the platforms we have over here is the armored vehicle platform. The benefits of this sensor is that you can uh, locate gunshots and snipers from uh, far away. If you have the capability and the opportunity to uh, put them in a network, you can detect mortar, artillery and rockets. The sensor, which is uh, pretty small in footprint, it can be uh, used on, uh, on vehicles, on the ground. Uh, also we are looking into uh, boat capabilities, so on vessels. And we also have a new uh, solution which is uh, on the drone. So it will be uh, flown on the UAV and then you can have ears in the sky. So. The acoustic multi-mission sensor is uh, a broadbanded frequency. This means you can yeah, uh, detect multiple threats with the same hardware and the same uh, software, basically. And MK Klebeck produce, um, produces um, a ballistic steel named Guardian. So we have a complete uh, control on the, on the whole process from uh, slab casting uh, up to final uh, uh, painting and of the plates. So 
We started this product uh, about three years ago. We are already present uh, uh, in different markets uh, in Europe, in Middle East, mainly for the moment, but with the ambition very soon to, uh, to develop other markets too. Uh, typically Asia will be our first focus. Our range of product today is, uh, is quite large. We go from uh, 400 Brunel to 600 Brunel, uh, which is uh, pretty demanded today, the 600 Brunel are hardness. So the advantage of our steel compared to some uh, other uh, steels uh, made by the competition is that uh, it's quite easy to bend and easy to weld. As you can see here, you have a 600, uh, Quardian 600 sample, which has been bent to uh, an angle uh, above 90 degrees, which is quite uh, remarkable. Typically, the reason of this is uh, the modernity of our process. We have a quenching and tempering line, which is uh, very young. We started it in uh, 2011, so it's uh, still today the most modern of Europe and probably uh, of the US also. Amsafe Bridport is uh, a defence company that specialises in uh, highly engineered textiles. Uh, we're an aerospace and defence company, although I work for the defence part of it. On the aerospace side, we do uh, cargo uh, containment, fire containment and uh, barrier nets for cargo aircraft. And on the defence side, the product that we're uh, showing here is our Tarion RPG armour system. It's a lightweight uh, RPG net, it's 100% textile and it works through defeating the RPG as it travels through the net, preventing detonation on the vehicle. The key differentiators in our product are that it is exceptionally lightweight. We are the lightest RPG armor system on the market by about a factor of six or eight. Uh, and we have a very innovative mounting system that we can only employ because our RPG armor system is not tensioned. The mounting system uses flexible swing arms, and those flexible swing arms, when used in conjunction with an armoured vehicle, provide a number of benefits. But the key benefit is that as the vehicle is transiting, the flexible arm will uh, take a strike as the vehicle is moving around from a tree or an object, and will actually move out of the way. And I'll just demonstrate that right now. So the flexible arm enables the system to collapse, but then once the object is passed, the system opens up, and there is no further damage to the vehicle. This is the, the key differentiator of our system, and it is the number one factor that our customers uh, love about our system, and the reason that we're winning contracts around the world for the use of this system. My name's Simon Wilkins, uh, Business Development Director at Timonate Technology. Uh, we're based in Ireland. Uh, we've been in business for 50 years as of last year. Um, our business is based around uh, vehicle driveline solutions. We design, develop, supply uh, independent suspension systems, and transfer cases, steering systems on a modular basis, 4x4, 6x6, 8x8 uh, heavy wheeled vehicles. An example of what I have uh, behind me here is a, uh, uh, a rapid development of an 8x8 uh, armoured fighting vehicle. Um, this is the kind of thing that we can develop in a very short period of time. What we have in front of us here is our T900 independent suspension system. Uh, this is an, again a, a modular system, uh, part of our broad, broader integrated uh, driveline solution. This is a, a 9 tonne capacity axle rating, so each wheel station uh, 4.5 tonnes and we use this on uh, 4x4 6x6, 8x8 um, armoured fighting vehicles. Uh, what you see here is a hydrodynamic suspension strut that can be used in conjunction with the mechanical architecture. Um, this can be controlled for uh, to vary the ride height, to change suspension characteristics and to, to modify vehicle performance. We provide these solutions with wheel ends with central tyre inflation to change tyre pressure on the run and we can use uh, hydraulic or pneumatic uh, brakes depending on the requirements of the application. Excelis has inherited um, a long, long heritage from 1939 when we were still a French um, army facility, an arsenal. We have been property of many truck manufacturers and now we are fully independent. 
we are manufacturing axles, drive line, and even full um, mobility platform for various customers. Our sectors of activity are rail, including urban and suburban vehicles, or um, and also defense, uh, defense sector for which we supply French army, but or, or indirectly as well as many other countries. Products we are supplying are either rigid axle for 8x8, logistic 8x8 trucks. We also supply independent suspension, uh, like this one designed by Timony. If you look at uh, rail uh, sector, where we supply full buggy, uh, it's going to be a similar approach for defense. And this is why I invite you to visit us at Eurosatory.